fulcrum is basically a support in which a lever pivots or rotates. In this case, the lever is our sticks and mallets. Depending on the grip that we are using, the fulcrum may be in the thumb and index finger, in our wrist, or a combination of both. As we explore grips and how to use them all appropriately, I'll take you along and show you where the fulcrum should be according to the grip. First start with the sticks in front of you in a parallel position to one another. Rotate your wrist so that your thumb is on top of the grip and your other fingers below. The fulcrum in the French grip is located between your thumb and the biggest knuckle in your index finger. Find the correct balance point on the stick. This is crucial in order to make sure that this and any other grip function correctly. Holding the stick too far forward makes the stick hard to move freely. Holding the stick too far back will make the stick too front heavy and will not only fatigue you, but will limit the stick's ability to absorb and react to the rebound from the drum. After taking the time to make sure that all of these variables are in place, we can now start moving our hands. While isolating the wrist and forearm, we can let our fingers take over. Use the fingers at the bottom of the grip to do a pumping motion. Keep your thumb at the top of the grip. Use all of your fingers, not just the two on the fulcrum. Using only some of your fingers can create tension and inhibit the motion of the fingers around it. While the French grip is ideal for fast, effortless playing because of the way it positions your fingers to do all the work, it also provides a weak sound. It also provides an obstacle for the wrist to move freely. This inhibits us to have a rich and powerful quality of sound. Take your hands and put them out in front of you with your palms facing down. Take your sticks and place them at a 90 degree angle and keep your palms facing down. The fulcrum for the German grip is located in your wrist. Try isolating the forearm and fingers while using the German grip. It should feel as if you are knocking on a door rather than using the pumping motion that we described in the French grip. Remember to check for the stick's balance point. Having the stick too far back or too far forward in your grip will inhibit your ability to play freely or with great sound. While playing, make sure to emphasize the movement of your wrists in the knocking motion by keeping your palms down. Playing with your palms facing each other puts your wrists in a position where its range of motion becomes limited. While playing with the stroke, it is ideal to relax the pressure between your thumb and index finger. Having too much pressure in this area while using the German grip will inhibit your wrist to move freely and will lock your wrist because of the tendon that runs down your arm, through your wrist, and into your thumb. Instead, move the stick using energy from the back fingers and most importantly the wrist. While the German grip is awesome for acquiring a great quality of sound and power, it could start to max out at high tempos because of the larger and slower muscles and joints required compared to the French grip. In order to find a happy medium and use the best of both worlds, we must use a grip that combines both. The American grip is ideal for most rudimental playing situations. It is designed to give your hand ideal access to the speed and agility in your fingers while not compromising the power and sound you get from using the wrist. Start at the German grip. Palms down, sticks at the 90 degree angle. Now turn your grip halfway as if you were going into the French grip. Don't overturn and be too French, but not too German. This is the American grip, the best of both worlds. Simply put, the American grip is a combination of both German and French grip. After spending time isolating the French and German grips independently, Combine both into the American grip. Both grips morphed into the American grip make for the most versatile grip and should be used most common while playing anything from legato 8s to fast flammed 5s.